Okay, I'm here to talk about a light bulb that I bought off eBay. And uh, it is a germicidal light bulb. It's relatively small. Size of my finger. It's a small bulb. Um, and it's just a filament bulb. Uh, but it is a germicidal UVC light bulb. And the operating voltage is 10 volts, either AC or DC. And uh, the idea here is uh, <laughs> that uh, this bulb has a gas in it. bulb has a gas in it, and... Uh, ionizes and lights up plasma from a from 10 volts uh, not high voltage but just 10 volts DC so I'm gonna take and uh, I've got a, uh, some wires on it to uh, wire it to a lab power supply and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the volts up here at about 10 volts and what will happen is I don't know if you can see it or not. I might have to turn the lights out. There you go. Is uh, we get uh, the filaments glowing. <clears throat> if I turn the voltage up just a little bit more. Uh, to say a 10.9 maybe. 11 volts. What's going to happen is. It's going to start to glow. Give it just a second. It's kind of tricky. This bulb, uh, how it lights up is a mystery to me. How plasma can light up with 10 volts is beyond me. I mean, neon takes like 90 volts. Uh, now I've got like a, uh, a resistor across it, sort of current limiting. Let's see if I can, oh, let me turn it just a little bit here. Let's turn it. Turn the resistance uh, just a little bit to uh, shunt across it. And uh, let's see. Oh, there it goes. Get it to fire. Now, I've actually got it to fire at 9.9 .9 volts and 0 0.32 of an amp. So that's uh, 0.3 amps at 9.8 volts. And wow, I mean, there you go, man. The gas is just, uh, it's amazing the light that this, uh, that this thing is producing from the gas. Uh, how it does that is, is just, I just don't know. And I can turn the voltage up just ever so slightly. And, uh, and it, Let's see, well, I've got it, uh, I've got the current limited here. Ever so slightly. Like, wow, man. It's just like, woo. It's amazing how bright this thing gets. Look at that. And that's at 10 volts at 0.7 amps. Isn't that something else? It's just fascinating. Uh, and I can turn the voltage on down to a threshold here. I'm turning it down, 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 down. Even at 6 volts, I'm still getting a little slight ionization glow off of it. It's crazy. All right, now I just dropped it down to 6.3 volts, and I'm back to where the filaments start glowing again. There's like a uh, threshold. I can turn this up. I start just increase it, increase it, increase it, increase it, increase it. Pretty soon it's just going to fire on its own there. No set. Nope, there it goes. Wow. 10 volts exactly at 0.61. Ah, I just thought you would think that was... Uh, fascinating as I do that is just incredible how that gas lights up without high voltage 
It does not even have electrodes. I don't understand how it does it. <laughs> Crazy. Beautiful light. Beautiful light. It's a germicidal light. And it will burn your eyeballs if you look directly into it. I'm, I'm being blocked by the phone here. But uh, this sterilizes stuff. Um, like go in air conditioners and some refrigerators. Uh... It kills it within minutes, uh, all the germs and stuff that the light illuminates. And uh, maybe they can use this type of light to uh, fight the uh, coronavirus. Uh, my suggestion is they pump this light into the lungs with fiber optics and uh, being it does kill all the viruses and germs and bacteria. And uh, this may be the holy grail, this uh, frequency of light. Uh... Now I have uh, other uh, germicidal lamps. They look like fluorescent tubes and they do require a ballast. This requires no ballast. Just uh, solid DC volts and uh, heats those filaments up and reaches a threshold where the uh, gas lights up. Somebody could explain that to me. I just don't understand how plasma can be lit up with like 9 or 10 volts. It seems impossible. Uh, it is a very fascinating lamp here. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.